rock cycle rocks are the most common material on earth some rocks are made up of just one mineral while others are made up of two or more minerals rocks are constantly being formed worn down and then formed again this is known as the rock cycle though this cycle might take thousands and millions of years depending on their origin or formation rocks can be mainly of three types igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks the word igneous means born of fire or heat it is made when the molten magma from deep within the earth cools and turns it to solid rock when the magma cools and hardens slowly below the earth's surface they form intrusive igneous rocks for example granite these rocks have larger crystals when the magma gets over the surface and flows out as lava during a volcanic eruption it cools down and hardens quickly to form extrusive igneous rocks for example lava rock or pumice these rocks have smaller crystals forces of nature like wind rain heat snow ice together act on the exposed rocks on the earth's surface to gradually erode weather and transport the broken bits old mountains are specially subjected to this slow gradual erosion broken bits are carried down by rivers and streams as sediments when the water slows down enough the sediment settled down at the bottom of lakes and oceans over many years layers of these sediments pile over each other to be cemented together and harden to form sedimentary rocks most rocks found on the earth's surface are sedimentary rocks for example sandstone limestone and shale Sedimentary rocks often contain fossils in them. With layers of sediments piling up on top, dead animals and plants settle at the bottom. They get compressed to eventually turn into fossil fuels. Metamorphic rocks are those that change form due to the application of tremendous heat and pressure. When the earth's crust moves, it causes rocks to get squeezed so hard that the heat causes the rocks to change. Also, extreme pressure under many thousands of feet of bedrock can crush the rock to form a metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks are originally igneous or sedimentary rocks which have transformed due to great heat or pressure. For example, the sedimentary rock limestone metamorphoses into marble and igneous rock granite changes into gneiss each of the rock types that is igneous sedimentary and metamorphic can be recycled into the other these dynamic transitions occur through geologic time igneous metamorphic or sedimentary rock can be eroded and weathered down into smaller fragments and carried away as dissolved material over time the fragmented materials accumulate get buried by additional materials and are cemented into sedimentary rocks igneous sedimentary or metamorphic rocks exposed to high temperatures or pressures can be changed physically or chemically to form a different rock called metamorphic rock when sedimentary metamorphic or igneous rocks are pushed deep under the earth's surface they may melt into magma this magma when cooled solidifies into an igneous rock erosion is a key part of the rock cycle erosion happens mainly as a result of weathering which is the effect of water temperature and wind on the landscape water causes much erosion acid rain 
Chemicals in the air combined with precipitation dissolve certain rocks that are sensitive to acid. Certain rocks that are soluble in water dissolve when they come in contact with ground water. Heavy rains, floods and fast moving rivers break away and carry rocks. Similarly, waves on the beach continuously smash against the rocks, causing them to crumble gradually. Glaciers pick up large rocks and scrape bedrock while moving down its course. The freezing and melting of ice causes cracks on the mountain. These cracks widen and crumble with repeated freeze and thaw cycle over a period of time. Wind as an agent of erosion is usually effective in dry desert-like areas. It blasts away layers of rocks, carrying them as it blows. Earth's crust is composed of tectonic plates, which are constantly moving at a very slow rate. However, when these plates collide, it causes friction, and this generates tremendous heat. This causes the rocks to continuously recycle and change from one form to another. Also, the Earth's internal heat and pressure causes the rocks to metamorphose, causing them to crumble under pressure or crystallize. Metamorphosis can occur in rock when they are heated to 300 to 700 degrees Celsius. The characteristic of a rock is also an important factor that contributes to the rock cycle. Softer rocks tend to break up easily. Falling rocks along a cliff also causes other rocks to break. Soil containing chemicals reacts with some rocks, changing them from one form to another. Also, plants seeking nutrients from soil and growing bigger tend to crack the rocks. The rock cycle continues. New rocks are formed and are changed from one form to another. Any given rock can undergo any part of the cycle any number of times. And this rock cycle never stops.